Hello everyone, I am Arbat Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can add subscriber to Encharge via Fluent Form submission. Now Fluent Forms is an online form building application and Encharge is an automation, email automation program basically. Now what is happening here, whenever we are going to have a new form submission in our Fluent Forms, the details from that submission will go to Encharge account and there a new person will automatically get added into our Encharge account which can be later used for different purposes. Now here we are going to use an integration and automation service Pavli Connect to connect our Fluent Forms and Encharge together. Now if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen so we have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y Pavli.com slash connect and as soon as you will press enter you will be redirected to this page and here you can see we have two options either you can sign in or you can sign up signing in is very easy if you already have an account you have to go for sign in if you do not have an account you have to go for sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month okay so i'll just go for sign in because i already have an account here and now you will see these are my software so i'm going to uh, click on access now for pavli connect and here what I am going to do, you will see a new window will open and here these are all the automations I have been making. So what I am going to do to create a new automation, I will create a new workflow and to do that I will cre uh, click on create workflow. And now I am going to give it a name. So we will go for fluent form to and charge. Okay, because I am connecting these two applications. Uh, I'm giving it this name you can name it whatever you want to let's just click on create and after you do that you will see you will have two windows here first one is trigger and second one is action now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process and action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process so trigger means when this happens action means do this now what we are going to do here we are going to take in our trigger event fluent forms and now what we are going to do here we are going to go for new form submission and now what we are going to do here you can see we have this webhook url and this webhook url will help us connect our fluent forms to our pabli connect account so here you can see it is written navigate to left sidebar of your wordpress dashboard settings webhook send data click on form submitted under fluent forms then click on add webhook url give the webhook name copy url and paste it in webhook url and click on the three dot of your created webhook then select setting select form under trigger on selected forms on which you want to add webhook and then click on save so what we are going to do here first we are going to go for settings then wp webhooks then send data so here settings this is fluent forms and here we are going to go for settings this is settings then wp webhooks here it is wp webhooks and here we can uh, we have to go for a send data go to send data and here search for fluent forms so where is fluent forms here it is form submitted you can see here go for add webhook url and here you have to add the new webhook so copy this paste it here sorry not here paste it here and give it a name fluent forms to what we are connecting and charge fluent forms to and charge now click on add for fluent form submitted and and uh, when you are going to do that you will see here fluent forms to end charges here then click on these three dots go to settings and here select the form uh, at which you are going to use this trigger so i am going to use this trigger in lead generation form so i will click on lead generation form and then i will click on save settings okay now settings has been saved which means our uh, fluent form is now connected to our public connect account so now we are going to go for fluent forms here and here I am going to select the form which is lead generation form and we are going to edit and here you can see 
these are all the uh, fields which I am using here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this ID here because I want to use this form in my website and I'm going to go for a new page. Add new. And here I'm just going to write lead generation form. I will go here, paste it. And then I will click on publish. Now you can see the form has been published. We will click on this link. And here you can see this is the lead generation form. Let me just go back and open it in new window. That would be much better. So open link in new tab. So now we have connected it and it is waiting for the webhook response. So we are just going to put the names here. So I'm going to put my name Arpit. Last name is Sharma. And email is I am going to change the email now the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com and mobile number I'm going to use a dummy number as always gender is male click on submit form. Now as soon as you will click on submit form you will see thank you for your message we will get in touch with you shortly and we will go back to Pabli connect and here you can see Arpit Sharma the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com okay. Now we will go here. So our first step of connecting our Pebbly Connect to our Fluent Forms is complete. Now what we have to do in our action step, we are going to go for N charge. Now here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to choose this add or update person. Click on connect, add new connection, connect with N charge. It will ask you for the authorization. And again, I'm going to tell you that your data with the Pebbly Connect is absolutely safe. Pebbly Connect do not take any chances with your data. Okay. Now here, what we are going to do, we are going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let us take the data from this window here and it will let us put the data here in this window. So first I'm going to map in the mail, which is this one, the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com. First name is Arpit. Last name is Sharma. Full name if you want to put, you can put full name Arpit Sharma. Last activity created at company, website, salutation, title, lead source. I am not going to fill all these because I do not have the information of these fields, but I have phone number. So I'll just go for phone number. This is the phone number. Address, country, city, state, postal code, group ID, referrer. No, 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 no. And no, and no, and no. I'm not going to fill all these things. I'm just going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as I will do that, you can see a new uh, person has been added in our uh, charge account, Arpit Sharma. And this is the email address, the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com. This one. And now I'm just going to go to my charge. And here you can see we do not have any Arpit Sharma right now. Now I will click on refresh and as soon as I will refresh, you can see here we have Arpit Sharma, the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com and this is the phone number. Okay. So this is how you can uh, do this uh, connection and make this workflow. Now what we are going to do, we are going to test this again. So we are going to write here Swati, last name is Sharma. Email address is Swati Sharma 456 at the rate gmail.com. Mobile number again, a dummy number I'm using here and gender is female. Now I'll click on submit form. And here you can see, thank you for your message. We'll get in touch with you shortly. Now let's go and check in our and chart. So here you can see Swati Sharma 456 at the rate gmail.com Swati Sharma and this is the number 9876567890 and this is how your automation is going to work really fine and this is how you can make this workflow where whenever there is a new submission in your fluent form an automatic addition or updation of a person will happen in your in charge account and you can use this workflow for various different ways in various different ways for various different uh, people.
so i hope you loved this workflow and if you want to clone this workflow you can go into my account sorry not my account you can go into my description box and from there you can just clone this workflow into your account but for that you need to have an account and for that you need to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month so do not wait go and sign up now hasta la vista So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to add it in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly dot com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automate. mission is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you